this is memory management. The first video will be on advanced IRQ. Second video is multi-threaded code. The third video is embedded memory on Linux. The fourth video is management techniques. The fifth video will be on finishing the course. This is the first video, learning Linux driver driven development. This is section eight, memory management, advanced IRQ. An interrupt request IRQ is a hardware signal sent to the processor instructing it to suspend its current activity and undo some external events, such as a keyboard input or a mouse movement. Some interrupts reserved for specific purposes, such as keyboard and real time. Now to check this, we're going to be checking this file called proc. So to check it, we're going to be using a command called cat. So let's say cat in four slash proc and interrupt. You can end up with a tab completion when you type then enter. So over here we have information about the CPU and the CPU one. Now the first one over here is the time. The second one here is the keyboard. As you can see, the number of time the keyboard interrupt the CPU is 4,291. Now, an interrupt handler is called an interrupt request. Interrupt to the CPU allows devices like keyboard, parallel ports, serial cards to be able to talk to the processor or, or processes. So, we're going to be doing something else. Now, remember this is at 4,291. So, we're going to be, let's do this. Let's hit top, then enter. Now, let's exit that. Now, let's check the proc file all over again. And we will see changes to the, as you can see, previous one was around, for the keyboard, the previous one was around 4,291. And the new update for our interruption is 4,311. So that's how to check the advanced IRQ on the Linux system.